Yes. <laughs> Dr. Millie in the house. All right. <laughs> I appreciate that. The carnivore diet. Because of what we eat. Honestly, you've really touched my heart. And what, okay, so what happened at two in the morning when my blood sugar spikes? Is that, is that truly the liver dumping? Is that what's, and, it, and if, does it mean I, I had too much excess sugar and it just, the liver stored it there and it decided to dump or is there something bigger going on there? Yeah, it's most likely the liver dumping and it could be for one or two reasons. It's definitely, it tells me more information that you saw it worse after the holidays and yeah. then it kind of was lower. So that definitely tells me that we probably oversaturated the system. If it was lower while, like if you had well-managed glucose values while eating holiday foods, that's a good sign that you're relatively insulin sensitive. So you were able to handle those foods. But then when you're in a fasted state, the body's like, we've got a lot of stores here to get rid of. But typically we do see a surge in glucose values, usually between like three to 7 a.m., depending on your sleep awake cycle. And that's the normal, you know, dawn phenomenon that many people have probably heard of. And essentially, you know, I equate it to your body's natural alarm clock, where you have a surge of cortisol and adrenaline and a few other hormones that kind of cause the liver to release some glucose. But then if you're insulin sensitive, it also is followed by some insulin release and glucose levels come back down. We usually see lowest glucose values about an hour after waking up. If they don't come back down after waking mm. up and moving around, then it's a little bit of a red flag for maybe some potential insulin resistance. You know, your body's not responding to that counter-regulatory process. But if you're seeing an even higher surge at certain times than others, and that's just not like your normal go-to overnight response, then that can certainly be reflective of kind of what you did the day before. Um, mm. One thing that we see all the time is those high glucose surges in the middle of the night when you're sleeping. If you had a late night, especially higher carbohydrate meal. Um, so our insulin sensitivity actually works on a circadian rhythm, just like other hormones, like, you know, melatonin, we're probably more familiar with working on a circadian rhythm. And a lot of people will have those delayed and elevated glucose responses if we're mismatching that insulin sensitivity with our, our circadian rhythm. So those bigger, heavier, especially carbohydrate containing meals later in the evening usually cause this delayed surge in the middle of the night. because Our insulin sensitivity just isn't as great. You know, we're not meant to be processing a bunch of food at 11 PM or, you know, midnight, especially yeah. in the middle of the night. Uh, so if we're seeing that big surge, one of the first things we'll do is look at what time they ate the day before and try to bump that a little earlier. You know, a good rule of thumb is to try not to eat at least three hours before bed. Um, I know with family schedules and life, it's not always easy for everybody, but really trying to make that evening meal earlier. And if you can't adjust the timing, make it a little smaller and definitely lower carbohydrate. Um, so try to front load your calories earlier in the day if, if you can't help it. And, and that can really help those overnight values. If I'm not sleeping well and I'm waking up at two or three in the morning, then I could play with my dinner, the quality of my dinner food and the timing of my dinner and see if that affects when I'm getting a, a sugar dump. Is that yeah. how we could really get into the specificity of this to sleep better?